Hello, everyone. Welcome to Hort Americas TV. Today, we will cover a basic topic that can help us to understand greenhouse and plant factory management, and also plant response. Let's speak about stomata behavior. Stomata are confirmed by two different cells called war cells. These are hydraulic valves that can open or close depending on different factors. Light intensity, light quality, temperature, leaf water status, and intracellular CO2 can change stomata behavior. But how is stomata open or close? Water relation in war cells follow the same rules as other cells. Water always moves from higher potential to lower water potential. War cells can take in sugar, potassium, and chlorine ions. The increase of solutes inside of the cells induce the enter of water across the war cell membrane. As the water goes in, the volume of the cell starts to increase, promoting stomata opening. On the other hand, chemical reactions can also provide signals to remove water and ions from the war cells, promoting stomata closure. Changes in different chemical reactions happening inside of the stomates are regulated by different, different factors that we usually manage inside growing systems. Therefore, the importance to understand how different environmental factors can affect the stomata behavior, which can, of course, have a direct effect in photosynthesis, nutrient uptake, and more. Some important variables affecting stomata behavior are light, water content, temperature, mineral content, and CO2. Let's start with light. Light is one of the most important signals to promote stomata opening. Light quantity and light quality can affect this process. Blue and red light are linked to stomata opening. Particularly, blue light is recognized as the light color promoting potassium movement inside war cells, creating conditions to promote water movement inside war cells via osmosis. Water content in epidermal cells is also important. Water content from cells close to war cells can also affect the stomata opening and closure. For example, low humidity or drought can affect the content of epidermal cells, which are surrounding the stomata. This can reduce the water potential of war cells and also cause stomata to close. Now let's move to temperature. Increase in temperature can cause stomata to open. When air temperature increase, plants initiate a cooling mechanism by transpiration, involving a course of stomata opening. Mineral content can also affect the stomata behavior. In different plant species, electrical conductivity can cause different stomata behavior. Potassium is one of the most important elements involved in stomata regulation. Osmotic pressure in war cells change depending on potassium ions present in the cell as a response to different environmental signals. Also, research has demonstrated that deficiencies in different nutrients can also affect the stomata opening. A clear example is nitrogen and also phosphorus. We know stomata are in charge to take CO2 in order to initiate the process of photosynthesis, right? Therefore, CO2 concentration inside of the plant will of course affect stomata behavior. As photosynthesis occurs, and CO2 inside of the leaf start to fall, plant will open stomata in order to have more CO2 available to be fixed. Inside growing system, we have the power to manage all variables affecting stomata behavior. Sometimes we are used to manage 
very practical information regard regarding system management. However, it's always important to go back to basic information in order to truly understand what is going on with our plants. Then all the measurements and decisions in our system will be more accurate. I hope you will enjoy this new topic. Please let us know in the comment section if you are also interested in learning about basic plant physiology, which can also help you to have better understanding of practical information that we usually use inside of the systems. Remember, in Hort Americas, we want you to succeed and we are happy to provide all the tools needed, included knowledge. That is my job. My name is Carla Garcia, Hort Americas Technical Service. You can also find me as Professor Grow in Instagram. See you in the next class.